So how'd the last condo showing go? Were you able to find the lockbox? The right floor? Was it a little confusing? Yeah, it happens. This is Ron Weissakarski for Real Estate in a Nutshell. And what I wanna talk about is fundamentals for condo showings today. It's readily apparent to me that a lot of agents are a little bit nervous about working with condos. And they can be a little bit confusing. And what's worse, when an agent takes a listing that doesn't necessarily know the building super well and doesn't find out the information, well, it can make it really hard to show it and ultimately harm the seller's you know, opportunity for a great offer on the property. So here's a couple of things that I've seen just in the last few weeks, which well, they kind of got me scratching my head. So the first thing is, do you have the right unit number? Now, I know it sounds crazy, but in some of the legal descriptions, some of the condos in the same building might have a mix of numbers and letters. So for instance, if you had D04, that might be 404, D being the fourth floor, fourth unit. In the very same building, you might see unit 504, which might be confusing. And apparently in some of the legal descriptions in certain areas, they actually have a mix of, of numbers and letters, and I can't explain why, but when it populates, from the uh, property appraiser's report, that happens. Now, what gets really interesting, and I'm like, hmm, what if you had like K001, which was unit 504, or 1101, or something like that? We recently came across one where the letter K was the first floor. I don't, I don't know where they got that from, do you? So as a listing agent, when you're preparing it for showing and giving instructions, if you have one of these crazy letter number combination things that might be a little bit confusing to perhaps even you, let's make sure that your instructions, whether in the MLS or verbal, if you book the appointment yourself, that we're giving a heads up to the agent. Because as a buyer's agent, when you go to a property where you can't find it, you don't really look good to your client. And they may be a little bit concerned about your ability to negotiate a deal if you can't find the unit. That could be a problem. And it's a disservice to both sides because quite honestly, if it was a qualified buyer that might have wanted that property, yeah, the buyer's agent loses out on a sale, ha ha ha, except for the seller also misses out on somebody that might have really wanted the property. But if they got a, I don't know, a negative feeling by the agent not being able to find the unit, I think both sides can lose with that. So how do we help each other out? Well, with condos, you've got a couple of things that you've got to pay attention to. Now, we've talked a lot about the unit number and I know it sounds crazy, but it's a real thing. Now, lock boxes are another thing. Most condos have a front door system. So if there's a keypad number that you punch a number into, or maybe there's a fob that you get into, most of them have the front door locked. And even if there was somebody on duty, it's usually you know eight to four, nine to four, maybe on the weekend, maybe not. There's a lot of times where you can't get in the front door. So can we help navigate the situation by having great instructions on how to get in the front door? Now, once you're in, chances are you can put a lockbox on the unit door, which is another thing that the buyer's agent is going to have to navigate, but at least they're in the front door. And not, nothing worse than, oh, there's a lockbox on a unit, but you're there and you can't get in the front door. It's the same as not having any lockbox at all, I suppose. Or if you can't find it, sometimes in a condo building, you can't put it on their front door. Maybe there's a railing, but it's around the corner or it's in a mechanical room or the laundry room or a stairwell. Uh, that could be for the front door on the outside. It could also be on the inside. Maybe once you're in the building, you can't fit a lockbox or can't place one on the front door. You may be looking at a stairway, a stairwell, another railing, um, some hidden box. It, it, it can certainly be almost comical to try to find it. And if your client is meeting you for the first time and you're trying to show them the condo and they're saying, well, geez, you know what? You got off the elevator, you turn left and you know it's to the right. And now you can't find a lockbox and now it doesn't work and they're tapping their foot on the ground. It's probably not the best customer experience. And I'm just gonna point back to the listing agent, not in anger, but out of spirit of cooperation. We're here to help each other. And if the buyer's agents can't easily show your listing, and competently show the listing, their buyers are probably not gonna make an offer because it's a hassle. So let's work together. Condos, they're a little intimidating. I understand why most people steer away from them. It's, it's one of the reasons I got into the condo business because nobody was seen to be doing it. So I said, well, I'll do it. Nobody was there. And I wanna encourage you to spend a little time, learn the buildings, learn the layouts, 
learn the indoor pool features, outdoor pool features, libraries, all the game rooms, all the things to go with it. But at the end of the day, if you can't find the room and you can't find the key, nothing good is going to happen. So if you've got questions about condos or you're a little bit unsure of that and you'd like to talk about how to show condos and how to list condos, I've been doing it for a long, long time and I'd be more than happy to help. If you like this, please send a comment, click a like would be awesome and subscribe. Well, that would be the best. This is Ron Wojcikarski with Beach House Consulting talking about condos.